Um, I think it's recording. Is it? It's recording. Okay. Um, uh, I was asked to do a video on our thoughts, I guess. Um, our fear of going crazy. Um, I know a lot of us have this fear and so I went ahead and decided, okay, I'll do a video on it because I have the same fear. Um, I've been dealing with that fear for a while now, um, especially because of how my mind works and how my mind, my, my thought process, I guess. And, um, it, uh, it's, it's can be a frightening thought, especially when you're in the middle of a major episode and, um, it, it's just really bad. But I, I decided to talk about it because this is something I deal with as well. Um, and then maybe not as often as the health anxiety part of it, like me thinking I'm dying all the time, you know, but it's, a, it's, it's up there. It's pretty, it's pretty big for me. Um, anyway, uh, I want to discuss what I go through, the thoughts I have, um, again, so that you won't feel alone, um, in case you have the same thoughts or same issues. Um, uh, I know it's scary when you feel like you're the only one dealing with the issues, and uh, then it really makes you feel like you really are going crazy or you really are gonna die. You know, that's why I'm making these videos. That's why I do these videos in the first place. Um, so that you will know that you're not alone and, and that you aren't gonna go crazy, you know, stuff like that. Um, but um, basically, I guess, let's, I don't even know where to start. Um, first, okay, first of all, one of my big things, um, is because I have the depersonalization, the disorientation, the realization, whatever you want to call it, um, where you feel like you're in a dream all the time, which I do. I feel like I'm in a dream 24-7. If y'all have watched any of my past videos, you, you know that. Um, anyway, um, I feel like that all the time. Okay, this, was, this is me. This is my thought process. Um, okay, I always feel like I'm in a dream already. I've felt like this for years. Now, um... I have had, uh, you know, I don't know if you watch documentaries or any, I'm a big documentary girl, so like, um, I've watched a lot of documentaries, and, um, whenever you watch stuff that deals with, um, I don't watch that stuff as much anymore, but I used to watch stuff like on serial killers and stuff like that, uh, don't ask me why, I just thought it was interesting, um, anyway, when I first started, um, I don't know. It scared me when I started having the dreamy state thing because um, part of uh, the serial killers and stuff, like whenever you talk to psychologists and things like that and they talk about how um, serial killers are and how their thoughts are and stuff like that, most of them, they say that when they do things, it's like they're in a dream, right? They feel like they're in a dream, they feel like it's not real, it's not reality. And well, I feel like that all the time. So I, once in a while, I'll start thinking, oh my gosh, I'm crazy. Oh my goodness, I'm crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna end up becoming, I don't think I'm gonna become a serial killer. Yeah. Not that I'm aware of, but um, I think I love people way too much because I do, I love people. But I have those thoughts of maybe I'm crazy, you know, because they try to say, you know, that serial killers have like a mental, issue or whatever which i'm sure they do but i mean whatever it doesn't mean that i'm going to be going around killing people you know anyway um uh another um issue um i've had too that i think i have a lot of crazy crazy thoughts like thoughts that i would never ever 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 do like i would never actually go and do these things but they pop in my head and I have a lot, a lot of like, um, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, um, oh, it's so scary, dude. I, I get, um, I get real, real, um, uh, dude, I can't think because so much is going on out there right now. See, my mind's going all over the place. I don't even know what to say about this subject because I kind of get scared to talk about it, to be honest. Um, I've been told by many people that you don't talk about these things, you know, and I have, uh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, okay, here we go. This is what I'm going to say. Um, I do have ugly thoughts sometimes, and they'll pop in my head, like, in an instant. Out of nowhere, I'll have no triggers. I'll have no um, reason. I have no desire to do the things that pop in my head. Um, I have no... Um, 
I don't even know how to explain it. I, I just, they just pop in my head. And um, I've, I have mean, I know all of us, because I've talked to a lot of my friends even with this one. This is something that started when I was young, like a teenager. Um, a young, like preteen maybe or whatever. I've always had like these impulsive thoughts where like, um, for instance, um, I've had impulsive thoughts about like, you know, when you're driving down the road on the freeway or something and then you're going over a bridge and you think, oh, I'm going to drive off the bridge, right? Okay. Well, the difference between being crazy and not being crazy is knowing, well, realistically, you're not going to drive off the bridge because that would kill you, you know, or somebody else, you know, and, um, or I've even had thoughts of like going into oncoming traffic just out of nowhere on a whim, you know, um, I've thought of jumping off things. I've thought of, um, this is, this is the more, um, this is the more, um, what's that word I'm looking for? These are the more, these are the more, um, God, I wish they would just be quiet, but I, I'm sorry. No, uh, the, these are the more subtle thoughts that I've had. Um, uh, when I was young too, I used to have a lot of thoughts uh, dealing with, um, this is going to sound gross. Oh my goodness. But I used to have a lot of thoughts dealing with um, like mutilation. Like, um, I would get, I don't do this anymore. Don't, these thoughts don't pop in my head anymore. But when I was younger, before I became a Christian and all that stuff, I used to get angry really easy. I mean, I still do kind of get mad sometimes, but I know how to calm myself down. But, um, I used to get angry and I would start thinking of the most horrible, horrible things, um, to do to people, like in my head. Um, I don't know. <laughs> That might sound crazy. I'm so sorry. But maybe some of you have dealt with this too. And it doesn't mean you're crazy because I'm not. And I've gone to many shrinks, you know, and um, it's normal apparently. But um, sort of. But uh, but like it ain't really normal. But you know what I mean. Anyway. Um, but I, I used to have these thoughts where like of mutilating people or like um, not just killing them. Just like hurting them in awful ways. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. And um, stuff like that. Look, see, I'm starting to go numb because I'm talking about this. Whew. I'm about to, I feel like I'm about to die. I feel like God's about to kill me, to be honest. This goes through my head. Um, anyway, um, but this is the truth. This is how I've thought in the past. But I have had issues where, um, like, and I think I, I mentioned in my symptoms part two video, um, where I was talking about how um, I actually, if I'm under a lot, a lot of stress, I'll, um, I'll start hallucinating in a way. Like, I'll start seeing stuff that's not there like the shadows or um or i'll imagine something in my head like i'll be um laying down but this has happened to everybody i know so unless someone doesn't want to admit it i don't know but um even my sister has had these issues and like oh, a lot of my family a lot of them my uncles everybody told me that they've had these issues um but um where I feel as if, uh, like, I'll be laying in bed and I'll be scared to death. Um, I'll be terrified of, like, that something is about to get me or I'll lay down and close my eyes and um, I'll be afraid to open them because I swear I'm terrified and I swear that when I open my eyes that um, something's going to be right there staring right back at me, you know, or um, one time I saw, I think I said this in my, that video, I remember was seeing a, um, this big creature taller than my door walking slowly in front of the door. It had really long arms with claws and, um, of course I closed my eyes, shook my head, opened them and it was not there no more, but, um, it's my imagination. I have a crazy, crazy imagination and, um, I do, I know this because I, I've, I've lived with myself for so many years. Um, but, um. Uh, another thing, um, I know I've, I've heard voices before, uh, not, sometimes I, okay, these things are brought on by stress, for me, anyway, uh, me personally, I, these things are, whenever I'm really, really stressed out, I'll start feeling these things, I'll start seeing things or whatever, the mutilation things totally hasn't happened in like over 10 years, okay, I'm just saying, um, that hasn't happened at all, but I have had like one time, um, I was at Walmart, don't, this isn't scary. This is not scary. But okay, well, I was at Walmart. I don't know if any of y'all have these thoughts. Um, anyway, I was at Walmart one time, and I remember, you know, in the front where the 
where the greeter is they will keep the little stickers in that little there's like a little section where they keep the stickers and they have like this they'll have like box cutters or whatever there right well one day we're walking out we're leaving the store and uh, there was some scissors there the big scissors like what you cut material with or whatever um, like when you're sewing stuff and um, for some reason there was some random lady walking in front of me like I'll, you know we all walk out of Walmart and I had an impulse a thought to grab the scissors and just stab her in the back right I don't know this lady I didn't even know what she looked like from the front nothing but the thought went into my head it freaks me out and I was thinking oh my goodness I'm going crazy you know or I started thinking I am like that serial killer person <laughs> or something I'm not um, I know that for sure uh, now but I've had my issues where I, I worry or I think wow what's going on with me you know and um, but these are just examples these are I'm not going to tell you every single instance that I've had in my life you know where I've had these crazy thoughts but uh, but things like this that pop in my head make me start thinking oh my gosh I'm crazy I'm crazy I'm crazy or I've actually had many many times where I'll say something um, I say something and I think I said something else and then like my husband or somebody would be like well you said this and I'm like no I didn't I said this and then he's like no you said this and I'm like and I start like but I remember myself saying what I thought I said I don't remember saying the other thing at all and um, uh, I've had things like that happen to me um, I've had um, that happens a lot and I've actually had where uh, like my kids have come and been like mom what you know and I'll be like what do you what 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 are you talking about like why are you here and they'll be like well you called me and I'm like did I you know and they're like yes and I'm like no I didn't you know but it makes me wonder, did I, you know, and I start thinking, am I going crazy? Or um, I get into, uh, I actually have times too where I can't speak. Um, so much is going on in my head, like so much chaos, so much, so much is going on in my brain where I, somebody will be talking to me and I'll be completely zoned out and um, I'll be like, I can't think. It's like I can't function all this stuff is going in, on in my head and I can't like verbalize anything um, and that will happen and I'll be like stuck I, in a way for like a few um, minutes or seconds you know really uh, like 30 seconds to a minute or something like that or I've actually had times where I'm in and out like that for like an hour and then it freaks me out you know and then especially like me I have um, my niece was diagnosed with something I have but See, what helps me too is that when I, all my family, my, my uncles, my aunts, um, my cousins, um, they all have these issues. Like when they're under a lot, a lot of stress, they deal, but they're, they live normal lives. They're completely normal people, you know? And so am I, you know? Uh, so, I mean, I know I'm not going crazy per se, um, but, uh, but I do have these issues, but I've learned to deal with them. I'm totally fine. I'm I'm not gonna go stabbing some random person in the back with scissors at Walmart or you know anything like that. Um, uh, I'm not gonna do that. Like the thoughts go in there, but they're not something I would actually do. That's what I was trying to say at the beginning. Um, I have some crazy, crazy thoughts, and not only like the crazy like mutilation or okay the mutilation thing isn't even part of me anymore but like well the seeing spirits thing or the seeing um shadows or uh seeing the fake demon or thinking that the grudge girl is going to be right in front of me you know um these things are thinking something's going to grab i've had so many thoughts where uh i get scared that something's going to grab me when i get off the bed like something's going to grab me from under the bed um i've had that where i'm seriously literally in fear thinking that's going to happen when I step my foot on the floor or I've had where I'm afraid like one time I was afraid to get up because I saw my closet door open just a little bit and I kept thinking something was staring at me from the other side inside the closet even though that's not true but um, I was seriously terrified and I had, I had to talk myself out of that belief um, and I did, I was able to, um, and, uh, like I said, but these things happen to me when I'm super, super stressed, where, like, and it only happens when I'm alone. It doesn't happen when I'm, like, really, I mean, especially, well, I had that thought, I'm talking about the seeing things, 
deal happens when I'm like alone or like if everybody's asleep in the house and I'm laying down trying to go to sleep and I'll start seeing you know stuff um I've had, um, but I do start thinking that, oh my gosh, I'm going crazy, or oh my goodness, I'm about to, I'm going into psychosis, or I think I'm schizophrenic, or um, I think, uh, I think crazy because of my impulsive thoughts. I call them impulsive thoughts because that's what they are. They're nothing I dwell on. It's nothing that I really and seriously like love to think about or anything like that. It's things that as soon as they pop in my head, I'm like disgusted with myself. I'm like, oh my gosh, why, why, why did that pop in my head? You know what I mean? And I'm like, stop, stop, stop. And I, the, if you ever were around me, like um, day to day, you would see that once in a while I'll do this. I'll be like, I'll shake my head. I'll be like, stop, you know, because I'm telling, because something popped in my head. And I'm like, whoa, you know, no, 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 no. Get out, get out, get out, get out, you know? And, um. I have a crazy imagination, like I seriously do, and uh, and like I was saying, and not just dealing with um, like physical hurting somebody, I guess in a way. Um, I also have issues with um, uh, oh, this is horrible, but I have um, um, issues where um, oh, I don't even I don't even want to talk about it to be honest. Um, I, I'm but I'm. Gonna force myself to, just in case some of you have been dealing with this too. Um, I, I've actually had um, where I uh, I have uh, issues with um, like I don't I don't only get the bad evil thoughts. I also get thoughts like well, they're still bad thoughts. They're just not uh, murderous thoughts um, or demon seeing demon thoughts. Um, they're uh, um, I, I, okay, let me tell you something about me real quick. I hate, I despise vulgarity and anything, if anyone starts talking about anything dealing with, and don't make fun of me, but anything dealing with S-E-X, because I can't, I don't like saying that word, um, it really irritates me and it makes me feel nasty it makes me feel gross it uh i hate it you don't even know you don't even know how many movies i do not watch like ever because of that um anyway um but basically what i was gonna say is uh, i have issues where that sometimes sometimes things pop see i'm over here because like i don't want to okay um, things pop in my head dealing with SEX or things dealing with that kind of thing like na that in that nature I guess um, and it's usually stuff that I shouldn't be thinking like I'm like oh my gosh stop or oh my goodness stop you know or I'll who um, I don't even know what to say um, <laughs> um, like um, like for instance, I've had where, um, um, I don't want to say, I'm not going to say, but I've had those issues before though. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to say it. Uh, if you want to know something, you can message me and I might message you back privately. Um, cause I don't, I don't like saying, I don't want to say it, but, uh, I have had a bunch of times where stuff pops in my head and I have to be like, stop and really really inappropriate times or inappropriate people uh with inappropriate people in my brain um and it's like an instant thing and then i'm like whoa stop and i'm like no 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 you know and it gets out and i'm like oh lord you know and i'm you know asking for forgiveness because i don't understand why it popped in my head to begin with um and stuff like that and um so uh but i have um hold on can you please get out? Um, no, no, no. You need to get out really fast. Get all the stuff off me. I don't care if that's what y'all want for dinner. Sorry. My kids want waffles, so I'm going to let them make their waffles. Uh, my daughter will make it for them. My 12-year-old, she's good at that. Anyway, what I was going to say was, um, yeah, basically, I, I, I don't like it. I have a lot of random impulsive thoughts that pop into my head and then it makes me feel crazy and I do have where I have a fear of um cat like I'm going to become catatonic because like I said before with the whole uh um 
the where I feel um, like I can't think or I'm zoning out, you know, I start feeling as if I really and truly I'm about to become catatonic and I'm so scared of that. And I have moments too where like my brain is in such a fog, in such chaos, in such like turmoil that like it's like I can't, I can't, I, I can't think. I just can't like at all and then I feel like stuff's about to happen like one time um, I was sitting there and I felt like my jaws were gonna just I don't know maybe I am crazy I hope some of you have had all this happen to you because if not I'm gonna feel like an idiot and I'm gonna feel like I really am going crazy but um, but yeah that, that fear of going crazy thing that I think that a lot of us have that fear and to be I remember reading I, I've done a lot of research I remember reading some stuff and they were talking about how um, the difference between someone who's sane and someone who is not sane is that you know when things are not rational basically that you know okay you shouldn't do that people who are insane think they don't think they don't they have that impulsiveness in them and they don't they can't get away from that like they they um they they do it because they don't see anything wrong with it you know and like me because i have those thoughts for oh my goodness why am i thinking that you know that proves that i am not crazy i just have those I think it's like an OCD thing. I'm not really sure, um, but I do know um, that it's uh, it's it, it's scary. It can be. Um, I haven't really had the the like stabbing the lady in the back thing. <laughs> I haven't had those thoughts in a few years. Um, uh, I will say this though too. When I was a teenager, I had issues with. Um, I was like emotionally detached from everybody and everything. I had no emotions. Um, if somebody, I remember telling somebody one time, if there was a kid dying on the side of the road, I would have, I would have felt nothing at all at that time, you know, and I, I never cried, I never, I just, I had no emotions, I, it's like I had blocked all emotions out of myself, I think it was a way of me protecting myself, because at that time, that's when I was homeless and living on the streets, um, I've had a, a weird life, <laughs> but you know, I, I I went through that. I've had ye I had years, 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 years where I had zero emotions. Like I seriously, I would just be happy and laughing and making jokes all the time, but I had no um, compassion, no um, remorse, no. Um, uh, I don't even know how, uh, well, all those things that you're supposed to have, empathy, nothing. I had none of that. Now I have like tons of it. I can't stop having it, you know? Now, like I said, I love people. I am in love with people. I love all kinds of people. I mean, I, I love people in general. I do. Truly, truly do. Um, but, uh, but, um, but yeah, and I've, I've had those, and I've had where I feel like maybe something's wrong with me, you know? And, but like I said, I think it's all dealing with stress. Like, and if you, um, uh, but you're not really crazy because like even back then in those, in that time era in my life, I, I, I was still caring, um, toward certain people or whatever. I just... It's like I felt like I couldn't let too many people in because if I did, I was just going to go seriously crazy, you know? Uh, but I still had my, I have my walls. I have my um, limitations. I, I don't just, I never went out there and went totally nuts. Um, but anyway, yeah, th that's part of that thing where you're scared you're going to become crazy. Um, I've, I've had that, I told you about my, my niece and I've had uh, other people, my, my, I think my sister too uh, got diagnosed with um, bipolar and then uh, like the manic episodes and stuff and sometimes I wonder if I am like that video I made where I was just crying. I had days where I just couldn't stop crying and then I was fine and then I'll have days where I'm like but these don't last. I'll have like one day of like where I feel like euphoric and uh, like I feel like nothing can stop me <laughs> kind of feeling and uh, and it, but it's it's not a, it's horrible. Uh, I'll have where I get so excited so happy um, where I uh, I start feeling like um, 
I can't stop being happy. I don't even know how to explain it. I get too happy. I get too up there. Like uh, I'm completely on like above cloud nine, you know, and I'm way out there and like who knows where you can't even see me. I'm like a dot. I'm just uh, for real. I'm like way out there and I'm totally, totally happy and I can't stop laughing and my heart is racing because I'm so, so, so happy. Well, the video stopped. And I don't know where it stopped. So basically I'm just going to say that uh, yeah, the thoughts are there. You have all these crazy, crazy thoughts and that's where my health anxiety stems. I've always had the issues with the thoughts and, um, and I, uh, I guess because of that, like my mind, that's how it's trained to be. So now I have where, you know, right now I'm feeling like I'll feel in my arm start going numb or my finger and then I'll start thinking, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm about to die and the, the, it's a sign of a heart attack or I'm about to stop breathing and like right now I seriously do feel like I'm about to faint or something. They're like I feel like something's wrong, like major, like I want to run away right now, <laughs> like for real. I'm going to walk away from the wall and see if I'm, I'll be okay. Um, anyway, I, um, but yeah, the thought thing is like crazy and, and don't feel like you're going crazy. It, it's normal. I have a friend, um, Krista, the one I'm always talking about. She, um, she sees what she calls blue fairies. Um, she calls them blue fairies and she swears they're like little blue fairies and she'll see them when she's really stressed out or has high anxiety and uh, she's actually thought she's going crazy too but she's not and she tells me that she won't tell her psychiatrist that she sees blue fairies because she thinks she'll be locked up forever you know and um, and she sees like me too when she's really stressed she'll see demons like in the corner or um, stuff like that um, and uh, my my sister, same thing. Um, my uh, I have a, my, one of my uncles confided in me recently about the same thing. Um, I guess it's good that Krista did too because she's not related to me at all. And then um, uh, yeah, I've I've just I've known a few people who deal with these kind of things, and uh, it's normal. It's um, it's part of anxiety stress levels I guess um, but we all have them we have these crazy thoughts and stuff and um, and uh, we uh, we tend to think we're going crazy but we're really and truly not like I said the difference between crazy and not crazy is knowing that you are not crazy the fact that you're wondering if you're crazy tells you you're not crazy um, and uh, and so you should relax and be happy and understand that you are not crazy and um, anxiety and stress can do a lot to you mentally and uh, it's it's a it's already it's a mental thing to begin with and so you know it, it just it can it can do a lot so anyway I just thought I'd make this video if I can think of anything else I'll remember and maybe make another video or something I will say the hyperventilation video I forgot to mention that I yawn a lot. That's another thing with the hyperventilation thing. Uh, I'll yawn all the time to try to get my breath, and it's annoying, but I do it a lot. And um, but yeah. Anyway, um, I hope everybody's doing well, and um, I hope you're being happy and not thinking crazy thoughts. If you are, just remember it's okay. Just make it good. Like me, I'll shake my head. You know, figure out something um, that you can do to make it get out of your head. Because I know you don't like some of those thoughts. Of course, I also have the thoughts where I seriously do go into another world sometimes too. I forgot to mention that. Um, I'll go into another world like um, seriously. I'll be there like in a crowded room and I'll end up going into another world mentally. Like I'll go, I'll be like imagine myself turn into some creature and jumping around I, I don't know I, I have the craziest things pop in my head it's like it's like my own little wonderland you know it's like Tina in wonderland I don't know it's like whenever I'm stressed out I like go into my wonderland you know and sometimes that wonderland is nightmarish and uh, sometimes it's not it's like that Alice Madness Returns I love that game but anyway sometimes and then sometimes it's really beautiful you know and awesome and amazing but uh it does happen so uh anyway um yeah i hope this helps somebody at least 
so you don't feel alone and feel crazy. Um, and like I said, I'll be making some helpful videos too. I, I want to do that. The next couple of videos, I hope I can make some like help ones that will, you will learn how to cope with things or whatever stuff that I've learned from my books and things like that. But anyway, I hope all is well and please smile and be wonderful and um, I will talk to you later. Bye.